Welcome back to Lumber Jack Fishing. For those of you just turning in, me and that dude are... Uh, About to die on some <laughs> We're standing on an ice pack. We got 450 pounds between two of us. To show you this real quick. When I say ice pack, I mean ice pack. Because that's the edge of the ice right there. We don't know where the concrete stops, but there's concrete underneath it. It's just solid ice. But we're going we're gonna to try it. So If you're just tuning in, we're talking about the... Zebco medium light. Um, I'm just I I got nothing against the company Zebco. The the 33 is a good reel. Okay, the old school 33 that I used growing up was a badass reel. Yes, it is. Um, I haven't you know honestly I don't think I've used a Zebco 33 reel in probably 10 years. As you go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've used one for probably 10 years. And I, I'm almost willing to put money on that. 33 Max is actually not a bad reel at all. Really? I have, no, I haven't used that one at all. The uh, 33, I'm not, the 33 I caught a lot of bass on and catfish and whatnot was on the older, the chrome version, not this. Yeah, yeah, the classic. What they call a classic now. Yeah. That's what I used. Oh, uh, I think I got some two on my. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna have to jump, because otherwise I'm gonna end up in the water. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we don't trust the ice or anything, it, you know. Yeah, I told you I got something on there. Look at that. That's super safe. There we go. We wouldn't have caught nothing anyway, look. <laughs> it opens up on there. <laughs> well, dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we left the international degenerate on a bridge somewhere. I don't know where oh, here he comes. He's coming down to nine now. Yeah, like the medium light is just like I said, it's like a toothpick. It's rubbery feeling. It gives too much on the set. I don't like that. Too much, too much wobble. And when you're running a bait caster on it, like you said, like it just, it's like it tries the back lashes. It's crazy. It's like right now, I got the, the extra heavy on, but I got that super heavy ripping wrap too. So. Wait. <laughs> I went to cast my Hey, you want to join us on the ice? You get more subscribers, I've busted my ass and fall in. Yeah, you want to join us on the ice? We're standing on fucking ice, man. We're at 450 pounds right now. How much you weigh? You bite? Or did you get stuck? I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, got stuck. I got excited. <laughs> That's what that was. What is that? Oh, that's plastic. I thought it was tree bark for a second. I thought it was too when I first pulled it in. Yeah, how much you weigh? We're at 450. We're you at 450 push pounds it? right now. Come on. <laughs> 670. We're going to put 670 on the ice. I don't know. I ain't trying to. It, it's only a little swimming. and I don't think you're going to get that wet. I don't know how deep this is right here. But I can see the bottom out there. At least I think that's the bottom. Or a pile of mud. One of the two. <laughs> Not 100% sure at this moment. <laughs> you can hear the... <laughs> I mean, she, she heavy. <laughs> she can take beating. I swear to God, I had a bite here a second ago. It's a piece of plastic. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, I got it for nothing. That's the kind of boat I should buy right there. One of the ones that got the little, little yeah. scrimping boats. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got a scrimp boat. We got a John boat. We got a dinghy. We got a rowboat. It's a kayak. You got a skiff? No, well. Sort of. It's not. I mean, it's not a real skiff by any sense of the means, but it's shaped like a skiff. It only holds one person. Though. I've been curious about that one. That's a fucking. That's a circle. Language. So, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been curious about the one that's. Oh, the um. The one that's literally a circle and it's got a chair. Yeah, it looks like a like one of those buoys, man. The motion buoys. Yeah. Out in town. Yeah, yeah. I've been curious about one of them. You can load it on off. You see them just rolling it back on the trailer or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be crazy. I was watching a guy run one of those, and whatever he had on broke his line. And the whole skiff just teetered like this. 
that popped right back up like nothing happened. It was crazy. I, I, I don't know if I trust it because I'm leery like that, you know, like I was when I was getting on his eyes. <laughs> where, I, where I fish at in Georgia, there's a, what's big there is. Oh, no, get off. Got, but uh, they've got, there it's go. a thing they've, they've got there. It's basically a, a kayak, but it's got like a motor built in the back. Oh, and like those, um. Yeah, they're, they're not big. This about it. It's, they're literally one person. They're like this big. But they've got like a little motor built in the back and it kind of uh, surrounds you. Huh? I just realized what happened to most of my hair ties. They're on my rods. Do what? I got hair ties on my rods. I just realized that. <laughs> Makes sense. I got a lot of two piece rods. Go for it. So, International Degenerate, say hi. Hey, he hey. just joined us. Any luck over there on that bridge? Couple rocks. Couple rocks. Hey, man. All rocks are good rocks. Question is, did you land them? <laughs> yeah, they don't count if you don't boat flip them. Oh, he's ignoring me now. <laughs> he's over there being a degenerate. Being a degenerate. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about took the bush with me. Oh, my God. <laughs> this ice has been the highlight of the day. We got a money bet on who's going in first. <laughs> I got 10 bucks on myself. <laughs> I'm the one closer to the hits. Yeah, I got 50 pounds on you, though. <laughs> I'm not talking about necessarily following through. I'm talking about. Oh, going in? Oh, yeah, you're in. Yeah, you're in. I got catching. Oh, I want my old work boots. These ain't, these ain't known for catching. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was hella the other day. I was just walking over to the Jeep and I took a slide. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> no, we're just getting into it. This reel ain't bad at all. Yeah, I'm like, oh. I mean, I got it brand new. I taught Damien how to bait cast with it. And that's about it. <laughs> I never used it for anything else. Once I started using daily reels, man, I, I just put everything else away. Well, I went from using Abu Garcia religiously to lose because I fell in love with that speed spool. And then that other one, that, that one? Yeah, I fell in love with the speed spool. And then we come here, I put all my speed spools in storage. I brought that one and that one because I knew D, D was coming here. So I brought that one to keep it. And I brought my Okuma. I brought my Okuma with me and a uh, Quantum. Well, D bought the Quantum from me. And the Okuma, we broke it. it, it in that reel's defense, it was really, really old. I think it was like 10, 15 years old. And it broke. So, like, well, I need, I need to get in a new line of reels because you can't get loose here. So, and then I started messing around with daylight stuff, and I just I fell in love with daylight. I've been using daylight ever since. So, like, this is the Catula. That's the Skyhawk. I got another Skyhawk at home. I got a Pro Arm in the Jeep, or not a Pro Arm, but a Pro 100 in the Jeep. I got another Pro Arm, Pro Arm at home. Uh, D's got the Skyhawk version of the Open Face. My wife's got two Skyhawks and a Pro Arm Open Face. So D's got, he's got an NS like mine, which is this, this right here. And then he's got a Dela Zillion. The wife's got a Zillion spin cast. And then we've got some Dela Ocean Poles. So what do you, what do you have to store all your stuff in? I mean, it, it different. Like here we've got, um, I've got one airplane tube. And then I've got a bunch of half rod tubes mm -hmm. that are different sizes. And we use those basically to store and then in the garage, so, but you I've use got storm in cases or whatever. It's most of the time, yeah. And then in the garage, I've got one of those round pedestal things. It's oh, like yeah. the rod holder on the side. Yeah. Now, when we get back home, I've got a rack that's got the rod spots for half rods, and then it's got real hangers on the top. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, this real the sales, especially I'm getting this <laughs> <laughs> without any flex on his rod. <laughs> He's trying to go swimming today. Literally, the bottom of these boots are slick. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's slicker than mine. <laughs> yeah, 
I got the mine got the oil wedges in them. So. You got something. Yeah, I got something on mine. This used to have the oil wedges, but it's all smooth now. Yeah. Yeah, boot barn's gonna hate me when I get back to the states. I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go on the first store I see that says boot barn. I'm gonna go off. Especially if they they told me twice now they're not gonna carry my brand my style of boots I wear anymore. What do you wear? Saddle vamp uh, rider boots. Oh, okay. Oh, the ones that you're the yeah. ones. Yeah. See, I'm not a fan of that heel. I don't like the heel on those. I like the heel because I got a messed up leg, honestly, and it just it feels better on that leg. Like this, this makes this leg. I don't know, feel funny. For a while, I wore the uh, the wooden soles, and I, I can't do that no more. I, I I'm a big fan of the work rubber soles. Yeah, my dad is too. He works I, out of there. He likes the rubber. Wife, she's got a couple pair of boots. And she I can't do the neoprene. Ones. Those don't last. No, no, not at all. Not at all. They're like, oh, yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah, for like six months. <laughs> six weeks if you wear them on a regular basis. Not to mention it's natural. People are like, oh, you dra pick your heels up. It's natural for people to drag their heels anyway. Yep. It's going to eat it up. Yeah, I think we all came from monkeys, man. <laughs> Look at that chicken. He's living his best life. Oh, no, he got a girlfriend over there. <laughs> He really is living his best life. Uh, there's a rooster over there, and then there's, I think there's one down there that's talking to each other. Yeah, there's one further down. You know that phrase, biggest cock and walk? This is where it came from. Two roosters. I'm talking about chickens. <laughs> All right? But that's where that phrase came from, is, is two roosters crowing in the, in the pen. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> you got me. Is that a China? That just fell. <laughs> it did it. You, you didn't hear it? I heard something. It's just snow packing is what that Ooh. is. That's the snow packing. Okay. Is it, okay. Is it gibbous? I don't know. How are you trying to find out? Ready to jump on three? <laughs> Like I said, if I can get ish distance like that without a rod that gives, I'm pretty sure I can get this to fail. Right. Now that Pro 100 reel I got, it's on a St. Croix six foot eight medium. And I think that one's a, a medium fast. You know, I've never fished anything longer than a six foot till I got here. Really? Because I'm normally a bank fisherman. So am I. In Georgia, you. Like literally have to walk well, through trees and fucking when it comes to and, testing and, and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I've got to have room and be able to maneuver. I, 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 I catch, I, I'll catch the end of my my pole on walking Just through the like everything. Yeah. yeah, I got some short rods too that I would use, but like I, I because I'm tall, I want a rod that's at least my height. Oh, I don't like it. I can get more distance on it. It just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm be on a boat, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll like a long going. And I'm, I'm that guy. Like I don't have a problem breaking some branches, so I got cast. <laughs> well, I'm the I'll same here. Smack some stuff down. I, 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 depends on where I'm at. If I know it's gonna be thick, I'll have a machete on me anyway. Well, all right, let me phrase it. Outside of a kayak, I've mostly been a bank fisherman. I didn't really start getting into boats for the last couple of years. Where are you at over there? I don't want to cross you. I'm gonna cast that direction. Yep. So back to the video here. So I'm running that pig jig bluegill with a uh, little green, I think it's a three and a half, almost four inch paddle tail on it. And that pig jig with that paddle tail on it, you can run it just like a swimmer. I mean, it, it functions the same. You still get the same action and everything. And it kind of looks like a fat little fish in the water. Like that. Well, I don't know if you can see it. We're out here in the sunlight. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, look, the paddle tail. Little fish in the water. Great. And if they fish are looking at it kind of funny because of the little whiskers sticking up, well, you got a mohawk, you know. All fishers' personalities are different. 
Somebody called me a fish whisperer once. I guess now I'm a psychiatrist. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm loving this pig jig. Yeah. I am. I ain't gonna lie. Can't wait till it gets a little warmer. I start using that crawl. Yeah. Well, that's what I got on now, trying to skirt the bottom. But... Nothing. What you got on it? He, he's running a crawl. So am I. Yeah. Huh? So, so am I. Now he's running that monster crawl he's got. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at that. And they don't eat any hungry. They're intimidated. They're just gonna bite me. That like, pig like say on Lion King, that. she's gonna eat me. <laughs> sure, you don't want to jump down here? I'm good. Yeah, you gotta get a little wet. I mean, you ain't got that big. That, uh, was not the biggest one rooster. time. There's a fine line between hard and retard. And Noel, you are skirting that line right now. <laughs> really? I jumped over that thing a long time ago. I'm full on dee -dee -dee. <laughs> I mean, Come on. I got 450 pounds on ice that I have nothing to know of, of knowledge on. Why not? I wonder where we could put the kayak then down here. Right here. <laughs> Actually, yeah, right here. I mean, there's... I, I'm assuming that's a bag. That's slick enough bugs. you could literally sit there and slide in. Not on mine. I'm going to I'm gonna sit there and get stuck. Yeah. Mine's inflatable. I'm gonna hit yeah, that you. one. That one branch is about this big, and it's like. Why don't you get the one that folds up? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna get in that thing, and it's gonna fold up. That's, and that's that's the problem I have with kayaks nowadays. It's like they they make them good, but everybody's stopping at 300, 375. I need a good 450, man. I'm a big dude, you know. And I'm not saying I'm a big dude because I'm tall. I'm not saying I'm a big dude because I'm like, oh, I'm a big dude. No, man, I'm fat. All right, and fat people have a hard time in kayaks. I need a fat man's kayak. I know, you're thinking it. I can see it on your face. Yeah, uh-huh. What? Well, you can always lose some weight. Right. I could, but I like, I like cake, too. And like tacos. I, I like ice cream. Oh, yeah, I love ice cream. Dude, this guy's got this ice cream here. How do you, admit, how do you go from cake to tacos? Because, I, man, I, <laughs> there's no transition. <laughs> 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 I can go from ice cream to tacos too. You ever have taco, taco? That's ice cream. That counts. I think. I wish they'd bring that back. I don't even remember who had that. Uh, where are you from? USA. No. <laughs> Statewide. Uh, it differs on the year. Why? Oh, well, because where I had it at was a Taco Bueno, which is in Texas. I was, saying, I was born in Indiana, but I spent most of the time of my time in Kentucky. I think Taco Bell had it too. I only eat Taco Bell when I can't poop. You need to poop, man. Taco Bell. Every day makes me. That's called AIDS sneaking up on you. No, that's called no gallbladder. Oh. You can't eat Chinese food without having a bathroom within 10 feet, oh. can you? No. But I love it. I'll still I, eat it. I haven't asked you before. Everybody, everybody tells me, it's like, yeah, you got to diet yourself. Otherwise, screw that. Nope, nope, nope. But I'm getting I'm getting older, and they, they tell me I'm not supposed to be eating as much hot sauce as I do. And I'm like, I don't even eat that much hot sauce. How many bottles of hot sauce you go through a week? Six. That's not a lot. How big is the bottles? I, that's irrelevant. You said how many <laughs> bottles? You didn't say what size of bottles. You said how many bottles? You know, I mean, I got the the normal sriracha size. I got the extra large uh, Chihuahua. Sample size. Sample size. The sample's like three capsules, man. <laughs> I'm talking about the to go slam. Oh, you mean them MRE bottles? Man, get out of here with that. You got me messed up. That ain't hot sauce. That ain't got no bottles. That ain't hot. That's that's a tease. That's a tease. I love it when this thing stutters. It's like hitting high gear without shifting. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? Not a word. If we didn't know. <laughs> We actually do snag something big on this. We're going for a ride. <laughs> Whoop. Going for a ride. The real thing and both of things going. <laughs> That's gonna be. Don't worry, dude. If I get something big and I start going in, I'm grabbing on to you. You're like, That's a 200 pound anchor. That's what I see. Don't matter on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about that at the time, to be honest. I'm just gonna go for it. You're like, here we go. <laughs> I just be like, screw it. Sit on my shoulders and fight it. I'm gonna stand here. 
No, you're not. You, you wear a key. <laughs> right. Depends on how much far I sink in that mud when I go in. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I'll stay semi dry. Never mind your video, and I was about to say something. <laughs> Gotta watch it. I catch myself all the time. I'm gonna take you back to school. <laughs> yeah, no, don't say that one. <laughs> What you over there doing? I'm tying a screw lock on for a shaky head. I'm trying to put my I'm gonna try putting a crawl trailer on a shaky head. You trying to see what that is too? Yeah, is that a turd? That is a giant turd. That is a giant turd. Yeah, you figure out here in the calm, because you see how the wind's blowing water? All around us, this is like the calmest spot. You think there'd be something here? I don't know. Maybe I should try the beans. Beans Go in. for it. Yeah, we're gonna put the beans in. You still have one on? No, I gotta put another one on. It stayed on there. I reeled it up, got it packed up, and by the time I got up to the Jeep, it was off there. What's funny <laughs> is like the tip of this is melted. Apparently, it got melted in my tackle box. These. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens, man. And you get that weird smell in your tackle box for a while. No, luckily it was on the top where the meshes was zipped out. <laughs> it wouldn't actually in it. In it. Aha! Uh -huh. uh. Come on, man. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm over here doing some weird stuff. Why don't you get the help from the inter international dump? I mean, degenerate. Because he's over there doing degenerate stuff. <laughs> like I said, degenerate stuff. <laughs> oh, man, that's nuts. <laughs> Got a big old bean right there. We're just gonna do one this time. You gonna do a flick it? <laughs> Get out of here. Can't say stuff like that. Oh man, I broke it. Damn it. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, so with these beans, man, they're like super soft. Look at that. So if I do it this way, it breaks the bean. If I go this way, bean stays in one piece. <laughs> you going for carp? I'm gonna try. I ain't even seen any break top break top for. I don't want it. Probably too cold. We gotta be close to 50 by now. Uh, ooh, no. Uh, you got a Carolina rig on that? No, no. I got a uh, catfish rig. Anytime I fish the bottom, I promise you it's a catfish rig. Got a line. Hey, that's Look. better than nothing. Look. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Don't lose it, man. <laughs> Rub something cool on the end. <laughs> I don't know. That's some. What? I'm <laughs> waiting for it. Might be a pole on the end of that. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Rip, that's bad. There it went. That was my finger. I feel like a two rail two commercial. Okay, so you guys heard me mention magic beans a few times. Now, I can't tell you what this says because I don't remember. I translated it once before, and my translator's on my camera. So, but for. Less than two dollars, even though that says two thousand. For less than two American dollars, you can get this little container of beans here that 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 dude here is going to take a whiff of. Come on, you know you want to smell that. Tell me it that ain't. It, it stinks, but it's not like gag bad. That's like sweet pickle, man. Hmm? It smells like sweet pickle. You know, the sweet pickle. I don't, I don't like sweet pickles. You don't like sweet pickles? Oh man, I love sweet pickles on a sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, it smells like sweet pickle, and it's got a real weird goo on it, and it, it's not that bad on my fingers today, actually. I don't know, maybe I've been touching enough dirt. I'm going to have to tie something else on this one. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I got with me? I got some Lunker Hunt stuff I ain't tried out yet. On a Ned rig. Yep, we're gonna do that. Ned rig? Yep. But, uh, let's see what we got here. I got, where is it? Oh, oh. So, coming soon. Some lumberjack fishing baits. I'm still finessing that, but yeah, lumberjack fishing baits. We're working on those. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Isn't that tiny? But I mean, we're gonna try one out. Again, these were found by uh, Swamp Dragon Fishing. Check him out on Instagram. And, oh, they're already pre-rigged? Uh, well, one is pre-rigged, and then you got two more. You got two spare. So, but these are the quarter-ounce finesse crawl. I should have brought my smaller rod for that. <laughs> I didn't realize these were so small. Use my small rod. Oh, that's all right. I got to tie something new on this day, but anyway. My small fishing board. Tie something new on this day, but anyway, because this is the first time it's been in the water. So... <sighs> And again, guys, pig jigs. That's the bluegill pig jig right there. Beautiful, good action. Like I said, when I run it with this, I can run it like an actual swim bait. And you can find this boy on uh, Instagram. Pig jigs, 24-7. Check him out. Give him a follow. You can even make an order. So, I would take a moment and say, uh, now a word from our sponsor, but don't know if we like me that much, so. talk about knots what kind of knot you like me yeah the uh the palomar uh, that's what i used to international degenerate what kind of knot you like i did the uni knot for a long time and then switched over to the palomar i uh, see that my people right there you see that a palomar knot that's that's where it's at they say ain't nothing stronger than love obviously they don't know how to tie a palomar knot So that's what we're going to use today is a Palomar knot. I'll do a video at some point showing you how to do a Palomar knot. It's pretty simple. And that's the one my son uses now, and he's just now getting in serious into the bait casting. So. And he's using a Palomar knot. So they're really simple to tie, super strong. Um, if you're bottom fishing catfish, like that's the knot to have. But I, I found that it's very convenient to use it on just about everything. Little cinch knot behind it. Put some of that extra slack. Okay. Okay. That's the one you fixed, right? This one? Yeah. No. That's the one that I'm fishing at the bottom with. That's this one. Ding, ding. <laughs> Where's it at? Right here. Oh. <laughs> this is like epic. I can't really. Oh, I'm gonna have to change that. I tried to on you. Yeah, for one thing, I have not, I have not dialed this in at all. I just been putting stuff on and casting, and it has been working for me. Well, you gotta adjust it depending on what you have on it anyway. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I've had two different baits on this. I had a crankbait on it that I started with, and then I switched that that net, uh, I said net rig to that. Pig. Jig. God, I can't even talk. Pig now. jig. Yeah, to the pig jig, which is pretty heavy. And I mean, out of the box, I have not made any adjustments to this thing whatsoever. Yeah, I'm definitely dragging mine. A lot of rock in I don't think you're having luck with that new. Not like we're having luck with anything else. <laughs> breaks for when I got it out of the box, it breaks for set at eight. I generally keep mine about fifty percent, whatever it is. Uh, I go all the way up to twenty. 
<laughs> and then I just like, I, then I adjust my tension knob. No, it's still. Even though it's thrown loose. Okay. Here we go. Better. <laughs> Not great, but that's better. But, you know, yeah, this is a quarter ounce Ned rig. I mean, if I had the Pro 100 here with me right now, I'm not saying anything bad about the tattoo because I'm, I'm just I'm just now playing with it. But I got the Pro 100 in the Jeep, and that thing, you could put a 16th ounce weight on that thing and catch clear across to the other bank over there on the tower. Oh, that thing's crazy. Yeah. We might try a drop shot today. I got the drop shot weights in my pocket. Old lady waved at me. Oh, maybe she's putting laundry up. <laughs> I thought she was waving. <laughs> you see, you see my lines out right there? Once you get right there, it's just like, just hang up city. Yeah, there's weed literally sticking out the water right there. Uh, no, I'm this side of the weed. Not blind, well, I'm not completely blind. Oh, top water season. Where are you? Yeah, if they can keep going the way they're going with the weather, I think I'm gonna have my kayak in the water by the end of the month. I gotta test that, I just put a floor in it. Mm -hmm. I'll, be, I'll be gone about a month at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Go to Boulder Basin. Go to what? Boulder Basin? It's in Colorado. Oh. You have it in the Boulder Basin, man. I mean, all you gotta do is toss a bare hook in the water and shake it a couple of times. You catch brookfish on the Catch what? Brookfish. I don't know what those are. Uh, they're like really tiny trout. Hey, look, I caught a line. <laughs> you got your line. <laughs> Damn. I want to know what's on the internet. You know exactly what's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, what is it? Stop it. it. Get off. I bet I just lost my bean, too. Bean, bean, you know, it's true. I'm stuck on the bottom. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree or something. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm going for a ride. I definitely lost that bean that time. You look straight? I mean, it's like an inch. <laughs> don't think it matters. You can still. Oh, make sure it wouldn't straighten out. Oh, straight, like straight, straight. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to sit you right here for that now. It's making me mad. I remember when I was young and I first got on open face reel, I used to try to set my hook up on the, the baler. You go to Tighten it. Yeah, yeah. You, you just open it up and the line go everywhere. It's like, oh man, every time. Couldn't figure it out for the longest time. Like, why is it doing that? Slick over here. Of course, I got little nodules to step on, unlike your ski zone. Do what? I got little nodules here in my boots. You got, you know, they're flat. The skis? The skis. Speaking of skis, Dela has a skis reel. Literally, it's called a skis. Six hundred and twenty-nine dollars. If there's anybody out there that has one, 
Tell me about it. Because I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to talk a wife into it. That's a big one. I don't think she's going to let me do that. <laughs> not as bad as Swamp Dragon wanting to buy that thousand dollar open face. Wanting to? He did buy it. He did? He bought it. When? Oh, God. Like right before Christmas? That don't surprise me. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised either. Mm -hmm. I, I like his model though. I may not catch a whole lot of fish, but at least I look good. <laughs> you don't look smart. <laughs> Shout out to Swamp Dragon. Follow him on YouTube and Instagram. Swamp Dragon, all capital letters. Can't miss him. He's a good dude. He puts up with me a lot. <laughs> Alright, I took a bag again. Oh. I didn't take it with me, I got the blue. What? Something just shot past me. Pretty sure it was that bag falling back. That was the bag's black. No, it is right here. I come up and it comes from this way. I wonder if it's shiny. I told you I thought it was shiny. Any white flukes? I wish. I got a bunch of them. I've been using the crap out of them. Oh, no, I don't have them in my big box. My big box is in the house. I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I'm either going in the water or I'm knocking myself out hitting this. <laughs> Hello, welcome to ER. Yeah, our next video is in the ER. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna lose Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh no. That's bad. Did you backlash? No, but I inset my line, my drive line right into the spool. That's never good. Let's talk about this for a second, guys. Yeah, this tattoo is real. I love, I love its function. I love the break on it. I like the way it, it, it fits the line. Everything about it except the drag. I got my drag turned all the way up, and I was still rolling the spool. Like, but the crazy thing is, even yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. But the crazy thing is, even though I'm rolling the spool, um. How can I say? It's still it's still inset in the drive part of my line, which is the part that comes off your spool and goes out the front. It's still inset in that drive into the spool, which causes your your backlash and hang on. Other than that, I think this is this is pretty well worth it. I like it. I do, I do, I do, I do. How long have we been here? How long have we been here? About 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still boat. Take off on that. On that boat? Yeah. <laughs> Go for a ride. Yeah, I think we should, we should move down. Is what I think. That's what I think. Oh, we should move down. Down. <laughs> oh, God. Pretty soon you get more subscribers, you fall through the ice. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll blow up at 120. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> well, you know, we went for a nice ride. <laughs> like me. Or or a flip and slide. Start <laughs> with that in. What is that? 
Is there, is there a fence across there? No, those are those are tomato steaks. I guess, yeah. I mean, we can walk all the way. Up. You see where that long building is? Yeah. We we'll walk all the way down by there too. So, I guess we should have more rock setups like that. There. There's another one down there. You see the ice bank? Not like that. Oh man, no, look, like, I. Huh? I don't mind swimming, but I think that might be a little much. <laughs> What'd you do today? Drowned? <laughs> I don't mind swimming, provided the temperature's okay. Yeah. So. All right, guys. We're going to move on. And if you took time to watch this video, give me the time to give me a thumbs up. This is a long one. Pretty raw. Kind of funny. <laughs> uh. uh. My zipper stuck. There we go. So yeah, give me a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We always put up new stuff all the time. And uh yeah, yeah. Tight lines rip lips. See you on the next episode.